Right, you guys, today we're going to take a look at how to install Windows 11 on an old laptop with unsupported hardware. So in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo Yoga 260. Now, this has an i5 sixth generation Intel processor, which means it's not going to run Windows 11 uh, officially by Microsoft because it, it's not on their supported list. Now, before you go ahead and start doing any of this, let's first have a quick word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then go to CD Key Sales, type in uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11, and it will give you the option to click on uh, which one you want. Click on this one, and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page. Hit the Buy Now button, and as long as your region is listed up above, you should be okay. Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then use PayPal to pay for your key. Then head over to Windows Activation Center and paste in your key and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Links will be found in the video description. Now, one thing I want to make clear here is Microsoft have said that if you upgrade to Windows 11 or install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, they may uh, stop security updates for those processors in the future. At the moment, updates are working, but you can use a workaround which Microsoft have posted on their own website, which I'll leave in the video description. But again, remember that they can stop uh, Windows updates uh, for this particular processor at any time. So make sure it's not on your main system. You can see this is an i5 6300U, which means it's not on their supported list. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this prepped and ready for installing Windows 11, just to show you basically how you can do it on unsupported hardware. This does have a touch screen on it, which I'm curious to see whether it works or not, because uh, there is a bit of a, an issue with drivers here for Windows 11 for this particular laptop. Now we're going to be using Rufus here to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it, which obviously will disable the uh, TPM uh, settings on here. Now you need to download the portable version so you can go ahead and click on the link in the video description and download the Rufus portable version, or you can install it on your PC, depending how you want to use Rufus. If you use it quite a lot, maybe install it. So next up, we need to download the Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft's website. Always use the official ISOs that come from Microsoft. That way you're not going to have any sort of issues with embedded code or anything like that from other users from other websites. So I'm going to go ahead and get this downloaded. There is only uh, support for 64-bit versions of Windows 11. So bear that in mind. And then we're going to hit the language of our choice and hit the download button and get this downloaded onto our computer. Now we'll say that Windows 10 still has support up until October 2025, and this could be extended for even longer. So bear that in mind before you start wanting to upgrade to Windows 11. With Windows 10, you're guaranteed to get updates right up until the end period or end of life for Windows 10, whereas this, it could stop at any time. So bear that in mind also. So let's go ahead and select our Windows 11 ISO image. And again, we're going to click open here. It is in the list. Now I'm going to go to the drop down uh, image options here and make sure you've got no TPM and no secure boot selected in that list there. Uh, because this PC is not supported, this is what we need to do. Next up, I'm going to leave the partition scheme as GPT because that's what I want to leave it as. And also UEFI, which is non-CSM. If you want to set yours to MBR no, uh, legacy, that's up to you. I'm going to leave mine on the settings here. Just going to leave the NTFS file system the way it is. And again, you can give this a name, a volume label name, if you wish to something more recognizable, if you're looking to keep it, or you could just leave it as default, whatever you want to do here. I'm just going to call this Windows 11 unsupported at GPT. Uh, and that way, when I'm installing it on other systems, I'll know exactly that that's what's on this USB flash drive. So let's click start, and this will then start the process. It's going to say, are you sure you want to continue? It's going to wipe all the data off of that USB flash drive. I've got nothing on there I want to keep, so I'm going to click OK. And this will go ahead and start prepping the USB flash drive for us, ready for installation of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So next, we're going to put this into the laptop and boot to 
that USB flash drive. As you can see, I'm going to go into my BIOS and navigate over to the startup area here and make sure the boot option is set to uh, the USB flash drive for the first boot order for this particular device. As you can see here, USB hard drive, SanDisk Ultra, and that is my USB flash drive with uh, Windows 11 on it. So that's what we're going to be booting to so we can install Windows 11 on this system. So let's go ahead and select this and save it. And then we can boot to our USB flash drive. And I'll give you some close ups a little bit later on once we get there. So I'm not going to show you the whole process here because pretty much it's the same as every other Windows installation. So I'm going to accept their terms and conditions, go to custom, and then we need to delete all these partitions here. These are all for Windows 10. I've got no data on here. If you do have data on your operating system, then make sure you back up all your data before you start deleting all these partitions because your data will be removed. Now we're doing a fresh clean install of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So now I've got uh, an unallocated partition here and that's what I'm going to install Windows 11 onto. Again, if you want to partition yours out, you can do that now or you can do that a little bit later on. So let's just go through this uh, quickly here so we can get to the desktop. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the uh, country and region, uh, which is the United Kingdom for me. And again, we're going to just click next. Now, if you don't want to set up a Microsoft account, you can uh, stop that by stopping the network connection on there. Uh, I've showed you how to do it in other videos by opening up the command prompt. I'm not going to do it in this video, but basically that's what you'd need to do there if you want to have a limited account or, or local account. So let's go ahead and get the updates done. You can see there's a hell of a lot of updates here for this little laptop. And that's probably because there is no drivers on this laptop. It's pretty much empty. So I need to get all the drivers and hopefully we can get the drivers for this laptop because sometimes the manufacturers will uh, stop updates for these drivers. So I downloaded the update tool for uh, the actual Lenovo here and it didn't work. So I'm going to have to do this manually, which is going to take a bit of time. I'm going to go through and install every single driver I can get my hands on from Lenovo's website. Once you've got all these into the uh, installation, we can save these onto a USB flash drive and use this if we ever need to go back to Windows 10 or whether we want to install the operating system again. It's always best to keep these safe because sometimes these manufacturers do make these obsolete and it's very hard to find these drivers again unless you use some sort of driver updating software. So let me just uh, continue this and click finish here. And I'm going to go through and get all the required drivers that I need for this particular uh, laptop. Now I'm hoping the touchscreen is going to work and there is drivers for the touchscreen on here. Now remember this operating system we're using here is not supported for this laptop. So you might not see Windows 11 drivers. If that is the case, download the latest Windows 10 drivers on the site and try to get those installed and hopefully your um, hardware will work properly with the Windows 10 drivers. It should go okay here. You can see it's starting to install these onto the system. And uh, once we get these installed, hopefully all of the drivers uh, will be installed on this laptop. There's quite a few to install on Lenovo. They do seem to uh, like their drivers on their website. There's a load of them on here to download. Now I've got all the drivers installed on the system here. So let's quickly check the Windows updates to make sure there's no more updates here. And you can see all the updates are still updating at the date of the 30th of the 6th, uh, 2022. Let's quickly check device manager. There was tons of drivers missing. And again, these are all working. So it just goes to show you that these systems will work with Windows 11. Why Microsoft are being so stubborn and not allowing people to use systems like this, which is still a very serviceable uh, system in 2022. It's really super fast. As you can see here, I'm having no issues with eight gigs of RAM and an i5-6300U CPU in here. So it's perfectly serviceable. And we've got Windows 11 Home on here. And guess what? It's even activated, which means it did have a Windows 10 Home activated. And now we've got Windows 11 Home activated on this system. It's just ludicrous why they won't allow these uh, systems to be used with Windows 11. Because this is no different to Windows 10 right up till 2025. So what my idea is, I reckon they're going to let you run this right up till 2025 and they're going to start messing around with the Windows updates and stopping you updating on unsupported hardware. That's my theory on it. 
But anyway, that is going to be about it. Remember, guys, you don't have to rush to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Uh, you can still use Windows 10. And Microsoft have said that it's not going to support security updates in the future or possibly not support security updates in the future, which means you may as well stay with Windows 10 if that is the case. This is just uh, for educational purposes and testing purposes. Uh, I have no need to have Windows 11 on this system, and I will install probably Windows 10 back on it after this video has been finished. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed these sort of videos. If you do, then give it a thumbs up. And also, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.